Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club, and it's time once again for a postcard of the week. This week is the, the day for Valentine's Day. And so I was kind of hard pressed to uh, start looking through my Valentine cards because I really don't have very many. What I do have are some women's suffrage cards. That's votes for women. So I went to that collection, and there are a few holiday greetings that I own in my album of uh, women's suffrage postcards. And here is the card that I found for this week. It's a vertical card, and it shows a, a sweet little old lady, kind of a grandma type there. And she's uh, knitting or doing something, uh, needlework. and. Uh, you can see the Votes for Women sash that she has across her. This is an artist sign postcard by Ellen Clapsaddle. And it was published by the International Publishing Company. And it's a honey. It is embossed, which means it's kind of raised. You can run your hand over the top of the card and feel the embossing or raisedness. It's a quality card. Uh, for uh, postcard collectors who are interested in condition, you can look at all four corners and they're they're pretty pointy. So uh, that's uh, when you're thinking about a value of a postcard, a lot of times condition plays a big important part. And so it doesn't have a corners crease and they're not rounded corners from where it's kind of been kept taken care of through the years. And that's the that's what collectors will pay a, a little bit more for, or they uh, are pleased with uh, just an example, maybe not as good a one as somebody else is looking for. It's all of the uh, the uh, figures and the uh, the ways of thinking about values of your postcard collection. This is a uh, the one that I had for this week. It's from my suffrage, uh, women's suffrage or votes for women collection. And that's a popular topic to collect as you might imagine. And uh, just a few years ago, we had the 100th anniversary of, of the women's uh, suffrage amendment being passed uh, by Congress. We thank you for coming this week and happy Valentine's Day and thanks very much and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.